five unsafe beaches around the world. Hanakapa Beach This beach is located on the island of Kauai on Kauai's Napali coast. It's about two miles of pure menace, it has a high surf violent shore breaks and powerful rip currents that have swept many unsuspecting visitors to their demises. One of the biggest issues at this beach is that you might not even see the currents before you're already being dragged away. Sudden waves can wash the sand right out from under your feet and then pull you out to a watery grave. The reason for this is that there are no large reefs off the beach to stop the violent ocean currents, so they sweep in unrelentingly and unexpectedly. When some seismic event occurs far offshore, it causes lethal consequences to erupt on this beach. If you get caught in a riptide you can forget about being rescued. Fraser Island Fraser Island looks like a utopia from the outside, but it's actually rife with threats. Even though the island has pristine beaches, lush coastal bushlands and rolling sand dunes. It has some of the most treacherous waters in the world the riptides at Fraser Island are insane and cause lethal swimming conditions. The riptides here are so intense that Fraser Island Tours Australia actually warns against swimming in almost all areas and not only can the riptide carry you out to your doom, but there are poisonous sea creatures that can stop your heart. The venomous jellyfish that are lured to the island's waters by gathering schools of nearby fish. Almost no one makes it out of an encounter with these animals alive and even on land there are lethal animals. There are dingoes roaming near the shores that have been known to attack small children and pets. The Skeleton Coast There are at least 500 ships scattered up and down the skeleton coast of Namibia, which is basically one of the longest stretches of beach in the world where the Namibian desert meets the rioting waves of the sea. And this beach isn't necessarily lethal to swim in unless of course you accidentally cut your leg on a lost piece of scrap metal from a destroyed ship. The real threat is in the sand where there are dozens of wrecks half buried beneath the dunes that can make traversing the beach incredibly lethal and speaking of those wrecks anyone who found themselves shipwrecked on the skeleton coast almost always passed away. Even if they did manage to survive the destruction of their vessel, they would almost certainly perish soon after because the skeleton coast is really in the middle of nowhere. There are savage desert animals that might stop by such as elephants, hyenas and maybe even lions. New Smyrna Beach New Smyrna Beach is known by some as the shark bite capital of the world and according to lifeguard captain Scott Peterson, it really does live up to its reputation. This area is notorious for shark activity with up to 24 shark attacks happening in a single year. The most common sharks that attack swimmers are the black tip and spinner sharks, which can only grow to be about 3 feet in length. But still they leave their victims with cuts and lacerations and sometimes they can be lethal. This beach is one of the biggest shark hotspots in all of Florida, but the worst times to visit are between August and September when the sharks are out in their greatest numbers. Cape Tribulation Cape Tribulation is one of the most volatile beaches in the entire world. It's located in North Queensland, Australia and is quite beautiful at first glance with its ancient rainforest and mangroves. However, almost everything at Cape Tribulation is out to finish you, the plants, the wildlife and even the water are all highly lethal, making this one of the worst places to go swimming. From October to June there are thousands of box jellyfish floating around in the water here and these critters have venom so strong that a single stink can shut down a person's cardiovascular system and cause them to drown even before they reach dry land or cry out for help. But fatal jellyfish aren't the only bad guys here, there are also saltwater crocodiles lurking around nearby that reportedly finish between 1 and 2 people a year. Then there are the stinging trees which visitors need to be careful of because just accidentally brushing up against one of these big trees can cause prickly shards to get embedded in your flesh and sometimes they will itch and sting for months at a time. 